chairperson. Uh, my topic is a study of uh, a study of clinical and biochemical profile in diabetic ketoacidosis patients. Diabetic ketoacidosis is one of the life-threatening acute complications of diabetes mellitus that mainly occur in type 1 diabetes patient as well as in some patient with a type 2 diabetes. My aims and objectives are to study the clinical and biochemical profile of diabetic ketoacidosis patients, to study the precipitating factors for development of, of the diabetic ketoacidosis, to study the various biochemical parameters in the diabetic ketoacidosis and to study the correlation of duration of the diabetes and HbA1c level with incidence of decay. My study design is a cross-sectional observational study. Sample size were 10, uh, 100 patients with a diabetic ketoacidosis. Inclusion criteria were patient above 18 years of age, patient with a type 1 and type 2 diabetes who presented with a DKA, patients of DKA with or without micro and microvascular complications, patients with a DKA who had given written con informed consent. Exclusion criteria were the patient with di uh, gestational diabetes mellitus, patients on the drug causing hyperglycemia, example steroids, patients on, of hyperglycemic non ketotic state. Methodology were a detailed uh, history and thorough physical examination was done in all of the patients. All the patients were then subjected or to the battery of tests to look for the diabetic ketoacidosis and associated biochemical abnormalities. Once diagnosed, the patients were given intensive IV fluids and IV regular insulin. RBS was monitored every hourly and electrolytes were monitored every six hourly along with the serum acetone. Following investigation were carried out, random blood sugar, arterial blood gas analysis in that arterial specifically arterial pH, arterial PCO2, uh, serum bicarbonate, uh, serum acetone, serum electrolytes in that uh, specifically uh, potassium and sodium, complete blood counts, urine routine microscopy with culture sensitivity, renal function test, ECG, chest x-ray PA and uh, HbA1 level. Arterial blood gas analysis was done every 12 hourly to look for acidosis. After a consecutive two normal serum acetone level, patients were declared out of decay. Other drugs were uh, given according to the precipitating cause or the complication, example antibiotics for infections. My results were the uh, duration of the di diabetes. Uh, the mean duration of the diabetes was 6.35 plus or minus 5.14 years. That suggests the, the result the shows the duration of the diabetes and incidence of the DKA does not show any correlation. Clinical presentation was uh, most commonly the patient uh, presents with the nausea, vomiting, breathlessness, then uh, followed by fever, abdominal pain. The abdominal pain uh, shows uh, like an acute abdomen or maybe a surgical uh, abdomen, uh, altered with also altered sensorium, hypotension and the weakness. Precipitating factor among the precipitating most commonly it was a poor compliance followed by pneumonia and then UTI, diabetic food, CV stroke, MI, pregnancy, pancreatitis, pulmonary TB and surgery. Among the blood sugar level more than 400 uh, are, um, mg per deciliter, uh, 40 patients uh, were having the uh, more than 400 mg per deciliter followed by 300 to 400 in range and then less than 300. Serum sodium were measured. 71% patient had a hyponatremia. Serum sodium level were less than 130 milli equivalent per liter, which only 3% had hyponatremia. 61% patients had their potassium level in the normal range between 3.5 to 5.5, while 24% had a serum potassium less than 3.5 milli equivalent, and 15% uh, patients had more than 5 milli equivalent per liter on admission. Arterial pH showing a pH on, uh, was less than 7.24 in most of the pa uh, patients and uh, then 20% of the patients showing a pH of less than 7 and uh, uh, less than uh, also 20% more than 7.25. Arterial bicarbonate was done and 24% uh, of patients showing uh, uh, arterial bicarb 11 to 15 and then uh, less than 10 in 33 and less, more than 15 milli equivalent per liter in 43 percent of patients. Serum ketone were measured. 86 percent of the patient having a serum ketone more than five more than equal to five milli equivalent per liter. 
and the outcome distribution uh, most of them were survived 94% most of the patient who died from the dka in present study had a severe metabolic acidosis ph showing less than 75 less than 7 and severe ketosis along with a high blood sugar level mean is equals to 425 mg mg per deciliter on admission my discussion and conclusion a uh, dka tends to occur under a stressful condition or in association with the illness that feature a metabolic decompensation dka is characterized by hyperglycemia ketoacidosis and ketonuria dka affects both children and adults and require immediate attention the basic defect in the pathology of dka is insulin deficiency and a counter regulatory hormones were also raised just like uh, uh, catecholamines glucagon and the absolute or relative insulin deficiency lead to this hyperglycemia and synthesis of ketone bodies such as acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate from hepatocyte hence ketosis will occur most of the patient had nausea vomiting 87% breathlessness 45% fever 37% and abdominal pain 18% as the presentation of dk infection was found to be a common pre- uh, precipitating factor among the infection pneumonia was most commonly followed by the uti non compliance to the treatment was seen in 37% of the dk patients simple lifestyle modification such as educating the patient about non missing any insulin doses especially during the illnesses and providing the patient with the adequate insulin regimen can greatly reduce the dk occurrence education of diabetic patient regarding working symptoms of ketoacidosis such as nausea vomiting abdominal pain breathlessness fever and strict adherence to the treatment is necessary for 